What's going on guys, TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top NBA plays. I'm actually going to go ahead and give out my top 6 on prize picks and my top 5 on underdog. A lot of them are overlapping, but let's get straight into this. Um, if you're interested, you can sign up to prize picks or underdog using code TTL when you sign up. You will get a 100% deposit match. And if you sign up to Underdog using code TTL before December 27th, you will be entered to win $50 in Underdog credit. On the 27th at midnight, they're going to be picking three different people to credit $50. You have to use my code to enter that. That's not a joke. I've actually partnered with them and they are doing that for me for Christmas. Um, so make sure to sign up to Underdog. If you deposit $10 or more, it will be matched up to one up to $100 for free and you'll be entered into that giveaway. So make sure to use code TTL when you sign up. And if you're interested in joining the Patreon, it's $20 a month. We've been absolutely crushing it. You get all of my prize picks and underdog slips for any sport that I play. All my esports, everything. We've been crushing League of Legends and CSGO. CSGO is on break right now, but League of Legends is still going on. And CSGO is coming back in like three weeks. So it's not a long break. But if you're interested in that as well, if you sign up to Prize Picks or Underdog using my code, send me a DM on Discord. The link to my Discord is in the comments, and um, I'll give you three free days of premium. Um, here's what the premium is like. This is our post your wins section. We've been absolutely dominating it. Um, we have a Prize Picks, Underdog, Thrive Fantasy, a VIP chat. You have tons of stuff that you can get into over there. And let's just get into the picks now. Sorry to spend so much time on that, but I definitely think that the Patreon is worth your money if that's something you're interested in. But let's get into the picks. My top pick, or one of my top picks of the day, is Trey Young over 2.5 three points made. So we'll check his last five. He's only hit this in two out of his last five. Um, Last game versus the Bulls, he got seven. The game before that versus the Magic, he got three. I have him projected for around four tonight. And if we look at his games on the season, he's played 29 games. He's averaging 36 minutes per game with 28 points. And he's shooting up around seven three-point attempts per game. And he's definitely been heating up as of late. And especially versus the Pistons, he's going to need to hit these threes. Um, and I think that he's going to pick it up today. I think just like last game, I have him projected for four. Like I said, he could get even more than that. And this is one of my favorite plays for prize picks. We'll also take a look at all of the odds. But we can take a look here. Um, Detroit Pistons, Atlanta Hawks. It's an 8.5 point spread with a 233 game total. So I absolutely love targeting this. Um, the spread isn't too far off to where I think it's going to be a blowout. And I actually like Bogdanovic for this reason. He's 20.5 on prize picks. He's actually 19.5 on underdog. For once, underdog actually has this at a lower number. So I absolutely love this on underdog, but I like it on prize picks as well. Um, he's averaging 20.7 points per game on the season. He's been killing it lately. He shoots up 14 field goal attempts per game, six three-point attempts, and around five free throw attempts per game. He plays an average of 31 minutes this season, and he's been killing it. So I definitely love targeting this today. Um, and I love pairing that with Trey Young, especially. Um, next, I absolutely love Paul George. I like his points and rebounds at 27 and a half. We can take a look at this game. So the game is supposed to be super close. It's a 3.5 point spread with the 76ers being minus 160 favorites. The game total is 214.5. So it's quite a bit lower than the Atlanta Hawks game, for example. But there's still plenty of potential for people to score. And Paul George's line is super low for what he's able to pull. Uh, to, to pull. Um, on the season, he's averaging 23.4 points. He's averaging 6.3 rebounds, so almost 30 PNR, and his line is at 27 and a half. I absolutely love taking this over, and I'm going to be targeting this quite a bit. 
Next is an actual under. So I very rarely take unders, but I am on this one today. And it's DeAndre Hunter under 15 and a half points. So he's actually hit this in three out of his last five. He did miss last game and then he missed versus the Hornets. But on the season, he's averaging right around this number. He's averaging right around 15 points per game. He's shooting up 12 attempts uh, with four three point attempts per game. But. The line, like I said, um, the Hawks are minus 380 favorites. And they're 8.5 point favorites. And I just feel like Hunter isn't going to be able to do anything. I feel like Trey Young is just going to keep shooting up today. Um, you can take a look at the Hawks, especially. They have Murray. He's going to absolutely kill it today. Young is going to kill it today. I don't think Hunter is going to be able to produce as much just because I don't think he's going to have the ball as much. So I absolutely love taking this under. I will say this is more of a flex play for me than a power play, but I do like taking this under. Anytime I take an under... There has to be a reason for it. Um, I'm a big over guy. If you've watched my videos for a while or if you're in the premium, you know I'm 99% of the props that I take, they're more. They're over. Um, but I really do like this under. This under is very appealing for me today. Next, we have Doncic over 29 and a half points. Doncic is less than 30 today. That is absolutely insane to me. Um, he's hit this in three out of his last five. He's missed it twice in a row. So I guess they're just like, oh, let's lower his prop. But I love this today. He's averaging 32 points per game on the season. He's shooting 22 field goal attempts with eight three-point attempts and 10 free throw attempts per game. They're versus the Rockets, who I think I have pulled up. Yeah, who the total is 219 and a half. It's a six-point spread with the Mavericks being the favorites. This should be a great matchup for Doncic. They shouldn't be able to guard him, and I absolutely love this over today. And to finish out the sixth man to hopefully hit a 33x today, I love Siakam over 24 and a half points. So we can take a look at this. He's averaging 26.2 on the season. He's shooting up 19 field goal attempts with four three-point attempts. And eight free throw attempts. He's only played 22 games this season because he has sat. He did sit for a few games, but he's been killing it. He's hit this number in all three of his past three games. And I absolutely love this. He actually had 52 points that last game versus the Knicks. So definitely impressive. The versus the Cavaliers today and the odds are... 215 over under is the line for the game total. It's a 4.5 point spread with the Cavs being slight favorites. And if Toronto is expected to keep this close, it's going to be on the back of Siakam. Um, so definitely love taking this over right here. Now, these are my top six for prize picks. Let's get on to underdog. And again, if you're new to prize picks or new to underdog, use that code TTL when you sign up. You'll get a 100% deposit match and be entered into the giveaway on underdog. Now, on underdog, first things first, I absolutely, Trey Young is not on here. His three point line is not on there. So we can take that out. Now, I do love Doncic. He's still at 29 and a half on underdog. We already went over his. Uh, his stuff love this Bogdanovic like I mentioned from he goes down from 20 and a half to 19 and a half on underdog so absolutely love that here as well you can also take Siakam's over at 25 but it is a little bit less appealing just because of push potential I still love Paul George 27 and a half points and rebounds you can also take his 21 and a half points or his six rebounds, preferably his 21 and a half points though. And then next, you can also take DeAndre Hunter under 15 and a half points. And you can also actually take Durant over 28 and a half points. I don't have his stats pulled up right now, but I absolutely love Durant. He's averaging like 31 points per game versus the Bucks. The Nets should be able to keep it pretty close. As long as it's not a blowout, Durant should hit this. But with the Nets, that's always a possibility. A blowout is always a possibility. So that's the only reason um, I'm not putting Kilm in like a round robin or anything like that. But I absolutely love all of my picks today. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to leave a comment and leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.